It's a little bit chilly out here. Today we're gonna talk about five financial goals that you should have for the new year. Man, if y'all saw my feet, you look at how bummy I am, and then look at these things. I'm wearing some hopsable socks and some slides, which I guess is true what they say. Rich people do be dressing bummy. Let's go. Whoosh, whoosh. Hey, what's going on, people? It's your boy Kalichi back with another video. If this is your first time around these parts, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy anything that we talk about in this video, hit that like button. Turn that thing a blue. You know you want to. Let's go. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about five financial goals that you should have for yourself in this new year. And we'll start it off right off the bat with number a one. First goal that every single person should have for themselves in the new year is to have an emergency fund. This is literally the foundation of your entire financial life. You need to have an emergency fund. It basically makes all the difference whether you have an emergency fund or you don't. Start off with having an emergency fund. I mean, I saw a stat where it said that 40% of Americans cannot cover a bill of up to $400 without going into even more debt. $400. And you know what $400 is? That's the most common price point for any kind of emergency we have, whether it's changing a car tire, whether it's you got a speeding ticket, whether it's something went bad in your house, like your fridge broke or the water heater broke or things of that sort. Have an emergency fund, at least a thousand dollars just sitting in a separate account to ensure that everything else goes right. That in case anything happens, you're not completely knocked off your feet because of an emergency came up. So start off at least have like a thousand dollars put in another account or have a fully funded emergency fund with three to six months at least. Fully funded, just sitting in a corner somewhere to ensure that you're gonna be good, all right? Now let's go to number two, which is pay off all bad debts. What is considered bad debt? I say bad debt is anything that has an interest rate above 4%. And automatically that should make you think about credit cards and auto loans because those things are some of the worst debts that you can possibly have unless you own a business and you're able to make that a business expense but regardless even still it is the worst debt that you can carry on yourselves because the average credit card has an interest rate of about 17 percent 17 percent that is crazy we say in the stock market that we have a good year if we just have a 10 percent return on our money and credit card companies are making 17 percent off of you spending money now, I understand the need of building credit and I understand the need of having uh, credit cards and all these things because we live in a system that is based on credit. However, it doesn't mean that you have to go into debt to create that credit. So in the new year, make it a goal to make sure that you have no kind of consumer type of debt, especially credit cards, especially credit cards, because those things just forever hold you back. I don't know if y'all have noticed, I really hate credit cards. I made an entire video on why I hate credit cards. Check it out right there. I don't like credit cards. However, I've come to the realization, and I'm gonna have to make a video on this, that in this society, we have to have credit cards, but that doesn't mean that we have to go into debt just because we have to play the game of the system that we are in. So get out of debt as quickly as you can. As soon as you have that at least $1,000 in an emergency fund, start focusing on this so that you can pay off all bad debts as quickly as you possibly can. And that will take you to number three, which is invest consistently to invest in and saving money one of the ways that you can help yourself do this is to make it an automatic process because one thing that i've learned is if i have to think about saving money i end up not saving a dime of a dollar and so therefore make sure that with every single paycheck that you have set up some kind of automatic investment if you have a job where a 401k is offered make sure that you are depositing into that 401k that you have that automatic investment turned on and if you don't have a job that pays a 401k have a Roth IRA open that you're depositing money into on a regular basis make sure that you have an investment plan make sure that you're investing a portion of your paycheck consistently every single month every single time you get paid make sure that you're doing it consistently consistently because this is how you prepare yourself for the future i mean warren buffett said that if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep you will work forever so find a way 
to ensure that you are making money while you sleep. And the easiest way to start that off is literally to just invest in the stock market and invest into a retirement fund. The easiest way to do that is if you open a Roth IRA, all you need to do is search for a target date index fund. It's the most basic kind of investment that you could do for yourself and just do that. This way the investment will change over time as you grow up and you grow older. That way you don't even have to think about it. The money is just coming out of your account, going into the Roth IRA account and invest it on your behalf and it's doing what you need it to do. So invest consistently. Take the steps that you need to do to invest consistently. At least 20% of your paycheck should be going into investment after you finish paying off your debt and all those kind of things. At least 20% should be going towards your investment. Number four, invest in yourself. Invest in things like your sleep, invest in things like your mind, invest in things like your body, invest in things that will actually make you better overall. A lot of times when we think of financial goals, we just think of money, 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 but that's not it. If you aren't good, guess what? Money doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, you gotta find ways to invest in yourself. And one of the key ways that we can invest in ourselves is to find ways to do things that are uncomfortable. It's to find ways to do things that we don't like to do on a regular basis. I said invest in your body. Working out is one of those things that most people don't like to do. There was an interesting stat that I saw. I said that it's more likely for somebody to be a millionaire than it is to have six packs. That there are less people who have six packs than there are people who are millionaires. And that's your body. That is the only thing that's going to take you wherever you want to go. That's the only thing that you can never replace no matter what. I mean, in this day and age, people are doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but we're not going to go there. But the point is, invest in yourself, invest in your mind, invest in your heart, invest in your soul, invest in yourself. Your sleep is so important. It is so important that you're getting adequate sleep, that you're eating the right things, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're studying, reading books, watching videos where you can learn from. Invest in yourself. Find ways to find peace of mind. Find things that you do that you enjoy that gives you peace of mind. Invest in you. As much as you're working and grinding and trying to build businesses and all of these other things, make sure that you're also investing in you. Finally, what I believe to be the most important goal that every single one of us should have is to give. We say it all the time. Generosity is greater than greed. If you want one of these hoodies, go check it out. Link down in the description. But seriously though, every single one of us should make it part of our life to give regularly, to give actively, to give to causes that we believe in. I'm not saying to give to every single thing, but I'm saying to give to things that you actually completely and totally believe in. The fact is, I have never met somebody who has gone broke from being generous. I just haven't. In fact, I've seen the opposite happen, where people who give of themselves actually end up having more <laughs> to be able to give even more. It's crazy, right? It doesn't make sense, but yet that's what happens. So give, make it part of your regiment, make it part of your financial plan, make it part of your financial budget to give regularly to whatever core cause that you believe to be the absolute most important thing. You don't have to give to everything, but the things that you find important, give to those things. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all in this video. I hope y'all learned one, maybe two things out of this entire thing. And let me know, what are some of your financial goals for the new year? But I'm gonna catch y'all up on the next one. Remember, generosity is always greater than greed. God bless each and every single one of y'all, and I'm out. Peace. Whoosh.